Hi everyone, welcome to Cardiologist. In this video, we will draw together this pattern. My mission in this channel is to help you learn drawing in AutoCAD by presenting many exercises to enhance your drawing skills. If this sounds good for you, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and prepare yourself to learn something new. When you open AutoCAD, start a new drawing. Turn the drawing grid off. Click on this arrow or snap and check endpoint, midpoint, geometric center, and intersection. Click on F8 to activate ortho mode and F12 to activate dynamic input. Type units in the command line and make sure drawing units type is decimal, precision is zero, dry units is millimeter. Type A to open layer properties manager and create a layer named Pattern. Create another layer and name it Viewports. Click on this plot sign to make it unprintable. Double click the Pattern layer to set it as the current layer, then close Layer Properties Manager. Draw a rectangle 400 by 80 mm Click on this arrow of polar tracking and check 45 degrees. Activate X line from draw panel. Snap this midpoint mark and move the cursor upward to snap a point along the 45 degrees path. Activate back ortho mode. Select the X line and activate mirror command from modify panel. Snap this geometric center mark and any point along this path. Click on space for no and to end the command. Select both X lines and do a mirror using the shortcut MIR from this point and around this horizontal path. Activate boundary creation from draw panel and pick a point somewhere here Delete all X lines and the rectangle. Select this shape and activate offset tool from modify panel. Specify offset distance 60 mm and click somewhere here. Activate rectangle command through the shortcut REC. Click on this endpoint mark for the first corner. Click on rotation from the command line. Then snap this endpoint mark to specify the rotation angle. Click on this endpoint mark for the other corner. Mirror this rectangle horizontally to the opposite side. Click on Ctrl plus 1 to open properties palette. Select this shape and change the color to blue. Activate boundary creation through the shortcut BO. Pick a point here and here. Type QSE to open quick select window. Make sure the property color is selected and change the value to blue. When you click OK, all blue colored objects will be selected. Delete the selected objects. Draw a horizontal X line through the shortcut XL at this geometric center mark. Select it and activate trim tool from the modify panel. Cross select this part to trim it and delete this rectangle. Copy the X line upward 675 mm and copy this shape right 270 mm. Select the drawing and activate mirror command. Click on shift key along with the mouse right button to open OSNAP menu. Select mid between two points. Click on this mark and this one. Then move the cursor horizontally to snap the second point of mirror line. Draw a rectangle from this endpoint mark to this endpoint mark and another one here. 
mirror both rectangles to the opposite side. I will do an offset of 60 mm to the following objects. Activate rectangle command, click on this intersection mark, type R for rotation, and click on this intersection mark to specify the rotation angle. Click here to specify other corner of the rectangle. Activate trim command, click on space again in order for AutoCAD to assume all objects selected. And follow me trimming and deleting unwanted parts. Use boundary creation to create these objects. Then select these lines to delete them. Draw a rectangle from this geometric center point to this midpoint mark. Delete the X lines. Then select the rectangle to trim and delete all items outside. Select these objects and click on Explode from Modify Panel. Select all lines again, type OVER to delete any duplicate objects. Check Optimize Segments within Polylines and Maintain Associative Objects, then click on OK. If there are any duplicates, they will be deleted as shown close to the command line. Go to Add-ins tab. Click on Multiple Offset. If you don't have this tool, click on App Manager. Then click Launch the Autodesk App Store website. Choose AutoCAD and type Multiple Offset. It's free to download, but first you will have to sign in or create an account. So a multiple offset window, we need to type 5 and click on enter, then type minus 5 and click on objects. Select these lines and click space, then close the window. Of course, you can do the offset manually using the offset tool from modify panel or the shortcut OF. Now delete all the center lines. Activate Trim command and click on Space again to trim all parts outside the rectangle. Also trim the lines here. If you click and hold the Shift key, you can change to Extend command. Click on this line and this line. Activate Fillet tool from Modify Panel. Type R for Radius and make sure it's 0. Then type M for Multiple and follow me applying the tool at all corners. Alright, select the drawing and do a vertical mirror around this point. Again, select the drawing and do a horizontal mirror around this point. When you select the outer and inner lines in this manner, then delete them. Select the pattern and activate Array tool from Modify Panel. Change number of columns to 5 and the between distance to 270 mm. Change number of rows to 4 
and the between distance to 675 mm. As I told you guys before, patterns are usually printed through CNC machines on steel or wood sheets of size 244 by 122 cm. So draw a rectangle somewhere here, 2440 by 1220 mm. Make an offset of 58 mm inward and 12 mm inward too. Select the pattern and explore it. Select it again and type J for join. Then move the pattern from this geometric center point to place it at this geometric center point. Trim and delete all parts outside this rectangle. Activate Trim command again and press on space. Follow me applying the tool all over the pattern. Select the whole drawing and type J to join all segments into one. Finally, select Hatch tool from the draw panel, check solid pattern, change the hatch color, increase hatch transparency to 25, and select the pattern in this manner. Go to Layout Sheet, select the existing viewport and delete it. Right click Layout 1 and rename it to Pattern 03. Right click Pattern 03 and go to Page Setup Manager. Click on Modify. Change the printer name to DWG to PDF. Make sure Paper Size ISO Full Pleat A4 is selected. Check scale line weights and plot transparency. And make sure landscape orientation is selected. Then click OK and close. Type Vport and click on Space. Choose Single and click OK. Then click on Space again for Fit. Select the viewport and go to Properties. Then change its layer to Viewports. I will insert the title block used in the previous tutorial. Open Pattern Drawing Tutorial 2 to copy the title block from there. Select the title block and its content, type CO and select Copy Base. Click on this endpoint mark and go back to the pattern drawing. Click on Ctrl plus V for paste command and place the title block at this endpoint mark. Select the viewport and adjust the boundaries to be inside the title block. Click on scale from the status bar and check scale to fit. Unlock the viewport. If you can't find your logo in the title block, activate XRF command. Double click the logo status, locate your logo and click on open. Change the drawing title to AutoCAD Pattern Drawing Tutorial 03. Change the scale, date, and the drawing number to YT-CAD-APT-03. 
Click on Ctrl plus P to open plot setting. Click on Preview to check out the drawing before printing. Click on Print. Choose a folder. Type the file name. And click on Save. Alright, here's our pattern drawing. Remember to subscribe to the channel and click on the alert button to stay updated.